It's been three months since Curiosity landed, and the first real problem may be on the horizon. There's going to be some point in the future, when we do our drilling, that we're going to have a, a failure of our drill, a percussive element, because there is a, there's a bond in there that we think under, under cycle conditions will break. And we discovered that um, testing some time back was too late to fix. But we know we can do the minimum mission, the minimum stuff, but eventually it'll break. But the trouble is, what we discovered that when it does break, it, the wires will short out to the structure of the drill. Once it does that, um, unless you do something about it, all hell breaks loose electronically because it takes our power bus and it rattles it around. And it's the strangest thing. It's an electrical thing. How the, it goes, how, it's how the, mo the motor is being driven. It's being dri driven on and off like this very quickly at 30,000 times a second. And with those things short, it takes the whole spacecraft with it. So it's almost like the drill grabs the rover and shakes the whole thing electronically. So what we had to do, and we did this just before launch, last, uh, really last September, a year ago, uh, September and October, we, we took the, the, before we put the, put the belly on the rover for the last time, we, we went and screwed in some wires and bolted in a set of wires and actually came up with a way to use a spare motor driver to actually short the power bus in advance. Not the, Cross the bus, but to move it, to hook it to the frame of the power bus. So if this short happens on the spacecraft, when this, it doesn't rattle around everybody. But we, we've, but we've been testing it. We have found that by even activating that, it screws some people up. It's like the, like the, like the, the, the inertial measurement system gets messed up. So we have to make sure we turn that off. And so we've been testing all that um, to try to make sure to see what's going on, to make sure it all works properly. Because we put this in the last minute. Really, the last minute, and we've been a little bit too busy to test it much in the in the months from from launch to landing. So now this is our chance to get it all tested, get it all working, and we're we're really we're, we're about ready. In fact, we're going to try it again, try it for the first time uh, in the coming weeks using the voice coil on Mars for the first time. Now we did it on Earth before we set it off, but but we didn't have time to do a lot of testing. Yes, yeah, so the thing is, the basic coil goes bang, 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 this into the drill, just like your same thing if you took apart your hammer drill, you'd find a, a moving coil that goes, goes back and forth and it whacks away at the chisel, right? Because we, we, we call it a drill, but it's really a rotating chisel that goes chuk, 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 and it just carves away at the rock. That's why it's so effective. It doesn't work well if it doesn't hammer. So we need to, to get that. So we're get, that's the kinds of things we've been working on in the, in the last few, last month or so, to get that ready. So we can actually drill rock. Very soon, Curiosity will attempt to drill into rocks near an area called Point Lake. Then we'll know if the drill will work, and perhaps for how long. This is Rod Pyle for Space.com. Space.com.